That is a ton of team fight. How do you how do you cap this off? I have no clue with OG. As really Brian don't. was saying, uh, brood absolutely garbage here. That's why VP ban. Your egg with an ancient apparition ice blast over the top. You know it's uh, oh they might get first blood. They really might. Disruption into an Ether yeah, Remnant, into a Stomp. Who are they going to give it to? Seb. Seb. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, B4 missed both the CS there. No one picking up a number denies in that mid lane. The matchup that, uh, well, an easy pickoff maybe here on the solo. Got Trying to body venom. block him as much as possible with the illusions. Really well done by No Tail. He gone. Cool lane he's facing. I mean, it looks like he's in a good lane too. Like this is a very, very good start for uh, OG. I'm gonna swap things up here. They are gonna move around. Yeah, they. Uh, Pango versus Void is the matchup that you want if you're VP and going to chase no tail to no avail they're just going to continue to let seven absolutely free farm and i like this by the way they're still leaving the rune at top um yeah just like last time yeah just like last time so when samael does get his bottle which he's not that close gonna to. struggle for it but he's doing fine in cs even with his uh oh they finally got a kill at top okay <clears throat> looks like they managed to land a spear on soxa yeah despite you know sumail's like sixty-five thousand ping um they lost gold because uh, they're of that. gonna get they're gonna get those gonna get both denied solo pops the ward down he's like oh hello ah look at that and just like that og they no longer have that same net worth lead Come on. Still in their favor, but oh, 33 has to jump away here, but he's going to be pursued both by the Icarus Dive and ILTW with the Time Walk and Ether Remnant, but the burn from the Fire Spirits will certainly get the kill. Isaiah's hit every single Fire Spirit there. Was really well done for him. Yeah. Level 6 is almost here for that faceless void. A very key timing with all their combinations they have. Seb, they're going to go for him again. Stampede's going to go off. The Icarus Dive trying to pursue. No one's there on the other side with Cold Snap. And Seb, very likely with this Tornado Spear combination, he's just going to die. To Zayat. Zayat is the one who picks forgets about that. His natural habitat. Yeah. And they've, in fact, found No-Tail, who should yeah, be he's not really dead here. The cold feet mixed with the arena. He's got nowhere to go to stop this stun from going off now. Samael's going to try and get the counter kill on his eye. It's almost had it to get Spear back. Instead, he's on board while he's on agility form. He uh. joins his death, ties it right next to No-Tail's, and they go down. Really going to come down to Soxa again. Like, he's got to have some good disruptions. Yep, and the smoke's going to pop, and they're both going to be caught up in the Tornado EMP. 33 Goodbye. ditches No-Tail immediately with ILTW looks like they're gonna battle over the bounty runes he's got to be careful he just committed his jump too and that's why 33 will posture forward looks like they're gonna just trade out runes no problem Sumail's gonna grab himself a regen another arena and Seb may die a second time here's a Sunray stampede going off he managed to stomp the two of them but he can go nowhere with that burn damage and the Colts just a typical aura build up very much in the style of kind of four protect one, just trying to help some ale here. But oh, he managed to get off the shrink. Is that gonna matter? I don't think so. Too much damage rains in on him. That chronosphere, uh, in my opinion, pretty hard. The net worth lead is still it's negligible. I mean, so he's pulled back in. Can they get the stomp? They manage to land that. He still has the Icarus Dive as well as the Supernova. He gets a small distance away. Is he going to pop the ultimate or is he just going to give up his life? He gives it up. That is a mega kill streak for some male. But at the same time, in the middle lane, 33. He got caught by the Arena and Spear combo. They still just forward. He sees a little bit of a stack here thanks to the high ground ward. 33, if he ventures a little bit too close, he's going to be swept up in the tornado. Swashbuckle away, possibly. Disruption goes down, but this is just going to set up for the spear. Nice. Hey, okay, nicely done. 33 pops out the other side. And now the Aether Remnant is going to be able to grab Zayats there. Pulls him back in. Trying to slow down these heroes if they can get to him with the Rolling Thunder inside this river area. It could be a disaster for Virtus Pro. 33 bounces back and forth into Resolution onto ILTW. Trying to finish off Resolution. They still need more damage though. Now the Chronosphere. It managed to catch the two backline heroes to mail. He managed some more strength, so he's going to be okay. But they still haven't finished up those damn heroes they were searching for in the first place. They've killed Resolution's Mars, but Zayats is still being... Oh, what a jump in from 33. He managed to at least kill off the Ancient Apparition. He got a couple of lucky shot procs pulling back in. No one with the eighth run, then he's looking for a little bit more. Soxa disassimilates and tries to retreat, but ILTW, he's going to chase after him. Almost catching him. Another eighth run that is up for Soxa. 
is going to pop in now to try and stall ILTW, but without any mobility spells, he is going to be caught. Tramp. He didn't get that one more hit on the Rezo that would have made life easier. You can see that ILTW hesitates. If they have IA Ice Blast here, Sumil's dead 100%. Bang it in the game go back with it. Caught. No That's a big focus. kill. That is a massive kill. And they're going to find one more. Science. He's going to be bumped by the uh, during Sunray with the Rolling Thunder. Hits him twice. And they might finally claim that mid tower for themselves without even losing their own. Very big turnaround. Would have loved to have seen how that started, but spot. OG. Sentry gonna be the dropped. area. They're gonna, they're gonna see no one here. They're gonna catch him again no like they this. They got the stop. That's big. They're gonna follow it up with the purge. The arena's gonna go down trying to protect him, but the Aether Rendon, it pulled him back through. Now the Rolling Thunder's gonna hit him time and time again, and Samael is there to collect the kill. Now they're gonna hit Samael. Oh, ILTW, he's been bounced There's off. There's a lot of wasted ults right the now. The Supernova's gonna go down, but a clean retreat? No, not so clean. Seb's gonna be caught into the back line with no one buying back like that. He will punish Seb for that initiation. 33 jumps to the other side of the river, but a Chronosphere is gonna make sure he's caught. No disruption from no tail just yet and the remnant tries to jump in he's a male back and forth as he turns into the void spirit he's trying to get away resolution going for the kill onto 33 33 hope for a lucky shot he needs a lucky shot he can he actually get it the clumsy net goes out from my ltw he managed to jump away but saxa he's trying to go for that back line once again with all the poison sacks no it's a little bit low this time back onto the century to male dominate streak for Samael as he managed to bring him up nice swashbuckle that's going to be able to disarm at least iltw here and slow down the mars who chases no tail he needs a couple more hits no tail trying to dodge him another Lucky Another lucky shot. shot. He needs it just at the right time, but a God's review. Finish him off. Looking forward. A 33. Dodges the spear. Pushes forward onto resolution. Eat the remnant's gonna be a plum back while Samael takes down Syed. Resolution will finally die in the end, despite the buyback from Virtus Pro. OG managed to be the victors of that engagement. 1,000 gold, and they're gonna go into Roshan too. I harped on this faceless void chrono into Ice Blast. And they still have, they've only hit that on him once, if you recall. That time, uh, ILTW came mid. Stampedes, runs off the cold feet. Simail. And again, he's unstoppable very well. And they're doing all the little things correctly. They're uh, starting to utilize their net worth very well. Yes, he wants that kill, and he may just have it. Yep, solo. He just gets one shot before anything can happen. Gets off the hood. Disruption. We'll be able to buy him some time here. Tornado comes through, toss him up in the air. He's going to be bounced back by the arena wall. EMP burns him out a little bit more. It looks like the cold snap, he's probably dead here, but so is Science. And now Samael turning into a faceless void. He turns back into Morphling form, but an Aether Ren that stops the LTW from getting his damage. damage. Now he's being chased down, and he gets bursted just like that. Samael pushes forward a little bit farther. He sees no one. He's already dead. Science on the high ground has popped the supernova, but Samael don't give a damn. He pushes into the tier three, dodges the supernova stun. They try and catch him with the eighth or any button. And they've got a 5k gold lead. 17 to 17, but all these early kills never led to that mid tower, which made VP's life impossible. And he's just going to get another kill. Beyond godlike Samael. They can't defend us now. They don't have no. Chrono Ice Blast. They don't have their big, uh, big abilities. And OG, they know it too. Look at those odds, man. My uh, VP are just crumbling. They're just getting ran at right now, and they don't know how to stop it. It really starts with those back-to-back -back pickoffs that they got onto no one. He dies back for one of those engagements. And OG, they're just everywhere at once in these team fights, and so it's really hard for ILTW to set up. And with the Aegis up on Sumail, they're really reluctant to just blow the combo on him. That is the full lane of Barracks dead in 22 minutes and 30 seconds. 18 to 17, an 8,000 net worth lead for OG. And Virtus Pro, a ways to go. And ILTW is not scaling up right now. In fact, Sumail's playing a better Void than he is. He just keeps morphing into him, so he has that double mobility, and the time lapse uh, is destroying him. Or the, uh, the time dilation? Yeah, the time yeah. dilation. Ah, uh, that is rough. They're gonna smoke up, trying to go into the high ground, but Samael immediately initiates the two-man stun! Hitting the two-man stun! Immediately the supernova's gonna be popped here, but it's not enough to protect no one. Samael keeps on pushing. He's gonna go for solo here. A nice rolling thunder that chain stuns on ILTW. One, two, three times! Fortunately, there is gonna be resolution time. A force stun, a follow-up stun. ILTW, he can't do anything. They didn't even need Samael for the damage. The Rex and VP. Again, they just can't pair anything together right now, and this Invoker just gets ran at in every single engagement. He has no breathing room at all, hasn't advanced his items one bit. It's going to be an 11k gold lead. It's just 24 minutes into the game. I, going into this day, I really thought it was going to be a 3-1 stomp for OG, but right now it's looking the other way. 
Certainly is. Bird is pro. Uh, they seem to have just... the wrong eye ready to jump in to bail out no one if needed to. But they're pushing they in behind on Seb sees them. He blinks away. Oh, a spear actually managed to nail up He's 33. looking for Sumail no right tail. now. They really want this kill onto No-Tail to dodge the disruption by LTW. He's in trouble. Oh, he's just dead. Popped. Samail takes him down. Now the bounce in from 33 is going to be able to disrupt this no-tail kill they're searching for for so long. They finally did get it, but it comes at a cost to Seb. He's now going to be able to chase down Solo as well. A buyback from him, and Arena goes out. A spear trying to get out of this damn arena is Resolution. He wants away from Soxa. Soxa with a dissimilate dodge. A little bit more damage from the sun rays. Not quite enough. A disruption. An eighth remnant. Science, he's trying to get away now with Resolution. They're trying to retreat back to their base because their two cores are dead. Solo's going to be left behind as Seb sees him. Oh, a spear. Maybe he can bail him out here. The three try and retreat. No tail. He wants the kills. He wants the disruption to finish him off. This could just be the third and final lane of barracks here. Double kill for Samael. They get those two. The mid lane's pushing in. Tier fours are available to assault, or they can take a breather. And They're always ripping off one of that combo and making it impossible for them to just hit their four big ultis. We haven't really even seen it this game. And I don't think we will, as they're going to try to end the game right here. Buyback, only Invoker has it. He's already up, but I don't know what he does by himself. They need the AA Ice the Blast for the damage. They've all they've got, got the Morph off. Morph is already off, so without an Ice Blast, there's not much they can do against this. They try and go for the Arena. Samael is at full health right now. They do have the Meteor Combination. That's going to do a little damage to No Tail, but the supports are not what they need to kill. They need to deal with these cores. As Seb, he's already taken out ILTW. Oh, no, he pushed punches him out. In. Okay, the Ice Blast pushed him out. Samael is just able to focus on the throne and with nothing slowing him down, nothing stopping Samael from getting this throne. Virtus Pro will call it here. OG now leading the series two to one. I really think that 